In the modern game, it's all about power, power, power. That's all everybody ever talks about, and that's what a lot of videos are about. But I think there's still some old school moves that you can use to really, really hurt an opponent. And one of those is the slice approach shot. So this is what this video is all about. One of the biggest issues with hitting power, power, power all the time, when you are approaching and you're really driving an approach shot, the issue is it's coming back to you so quickly that you're probably gonna get a volley position somewhere around here and nobody can hit a really good volley from here. Coming in with a slice, whether it's a backhand or a forehand, allows you to come in further because the slice is a little slower, and that is the good thing. The second benefit is if you hit a good slice, meaning it is low, it skits through the court, and that means that your opponent has nothing there just sitting there and they can't tee off on the ball. They have to lift it, which means that you can gain a much better volley position. So if I'm getting a ball right to my feet and it's fast, I have no angles. I can hit the ball deep, yeah, that's okay, but it's a really difficult volley. However, if I hit my slice and they have to lift the ball, I have the ability now to hit the ball above net line and that means I can angle my volleys off. Another advantage of hitting a slice is you're hopefully already in your continental grip and you then don't have to change that for your volley. If you're coming in with a drive, especially a lot of newer players have issues then changing the grip and then they volley with the wrong grip. The next thing that I like about the slice approach shot is you can disguise the depth of your shot a lot better. Yes, you could theoretically, when you come in and hit a shorter topspin ball, but that's kind of exactly not what you're trying to do. You're going deep. But with the slice, if you can chip a ball short, you're actually exacerbating the issues for your opponents. It's going to be even shorter and they have to lift it more. If you want to be really evil, you can also throw drop shots in. So at the point then when your opponent is hitting a mid ball court and you're taking the racket back with this racket face here, you now added a guessing game for them. Are you gonna punch it deep, come in behind it? Are you gonna chip it short or are you even gonna drop shot it? And that is evil and I like that. Let's talk about a specialty shot for the slice approach shots, the chip and charge when you're basically taking your opponent's serve and you're just chipping it, slicing it back, and you're coming in behind it. And the benefit that I feel there is that I can manipulate my racket a lot more. So if last second scenario, I'm kind of misjudging the ball a little bit, how fast, how deep it comes, I can still maneuver my racket in a continental grip and with a chip. And I can take it further inside a court because I'm literally just sticking my racket out and punching through. So that allows me again to come in closer and ideally get an up volley. Another benefit, and that may be a little bit more my individual feeling, is that when I'm hitting a slice, I can flow through the ball a lot more because when I'm hitting a drive approach, and that might be appropriate in some instances, I feel that I have to set my feet a lot more solidly to get into the proper position. And that is almost like a little bit of a break. I'm feeling like I'm putting the brakes on. On the slice, it's like I'm on train tracks. Now, of course, if I have a higher ball on the forehand, it wouldn't make that much sense for me to slice it unless I really want to bring into play the different spin and maybe angle it off a little bit. But usually we would prefer a higher forehand and crush it. On the back end though, for me, as a one-hander, that's kind of difficult to hit a really, really controlled shot up here. So a slice you can use to come in with that. It's easier to control. And again, you can use a pretty juicy angle to pull them off the court. If you want to get the data on where to approach, which direction to take with your approach shot, your slice approach shot, I urge you to check out the Fuzzy Yellow Balls app, Singles Playbook 2023. All you do is open the app, Fuzzy Yellow Balls. I'll drop the link below. Go on to the Playbook 23 and you'll see broken down in percentages which direction you should choose with your approach shots.